Good morning, everyone. I'm Julie Chin for Oklahoma Magazine, and this is Stuff to Do, your guide for great entertainment this weekend and more. Claire Moore celebrates its favorite son with a host of events beginning today. Will Rogers Days kicks off at 10 a.m. with a parade in Claremore, followed by a traditional Cherokee lunch at 1 at the Will Rogers Memorial Museum. These and other events honoring the late actor, humorist, and columnist continue through Tuesday. The Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame inducts a new class tonight at Kane's Ballroom. Tulsa Sound stalwarts Elvin Bishop, Jim Keltner, and Chuck Blackwell are the 2014 inductees, along with J.J. Kale and Lowell Folson, both of whom will be inducted posthumously. The night will feature appearances by other personalities of the genre and starts at 7. Admission starts at $30. Get into the spirit of Living Arts of Tulsa's Day of the Dead Festival. Special altar displays remembering loved ones, art and music traditional to the Dia de los Muertos holiday are part of the fun, which also includes children's activities, food vendors, dancing and more. The fun happens from 3 to 11 tonight and admission is $5. Philbrook Museum of Art introduces you to an art Power Couple. A creative union, Howard Cook and Barbara Latham explores the art of the painters and printmakers best known for their work capturing life in the American Southwest. The exhibition opens Sunday and includes about 20 paintings and prints from the 1920s to the 50s. A creative union closes in January. Now Tuesday is election day. Cast your vote and head to the Guthrie Green. Rock the Vote brings live music and food trucks together while encouraging young adults to participate in the democratic process of electing officials. The fun starts at 5.30 p.m. Finally, get ready to sing along to Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, opening Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. at the Tulsa Performing Arts Center. Based on the holiday children's story and TV special that followed, the live musical adaptation includes all those well-known songs and characters of Whoville. The play runs through November 9th and tickets start at $20. I'm Julie Chin and that's your week of stuff to do. For more entertainment and all things Oklahoma, check out the November issue of Oklahoma Magazine on Stands Now. Visit us online at thenewokmag.com and get Oklahoma on the go with our free digital edition. Have a great weekend.